performance enhancing aggregation, significant historical time series and extensive descriptive attribution are specifically excluded from ODS. If you see the aggregations are uh, excluded, the remaining thing, uh, history is excluded. History in sense, not in the way, uh, not in the way of, uh, of history which you are thinking. History of a customer will be still there. But it is not the dimensional history. It is not the slowly changing dimensions. So the history in data warehouse is a little bit different than the history in an ODS system. Operational data store will have the history about the transaction, but not the history about the customer itself or the dimension itself. If you ask in an operational data store, if a customer moved from a place to other place, you wanted to see both the address, operational data store cannot answer. But data warehouse will be able to answer because you'll maintain the customer address in a type 2 slowly changing dimension format. So the ODS as a reporting instance may be stepping stone to feed operational data in the warehouse. That's where the answer is. So it is kind of the initial phase. It is kind of the front office where uh, everything happens and then only you can enter into data warehouse. So finally we entered the layer an agile enterprise data warehouse. So far whatever we saw is now we are capable of building an agile enterprise data warehouse. Before we look at this beautiful uh, architecture, uh, you have any questions guys? I can take a couple of questions if you have anything around metadata or, or even uh, the ODS. Yeah, ODS, um, yes, when we actually dig through the uh, data warehouse while building a retail uh, data mart or anything, we may touch there, but let me again recap what I spoke on ODS. So ODS is an operational data store. Why don't we do this? Actually, while I while I show the next slide, you are going to also get that because in this particular architectural diagram, I have introduced the ODS. Let me start looking at this architectural diagram for a uh, very agile and uh, structured data warehouse. I have all my source systems. I have my staging area where I am extracting, transforming, quantifying, cleansing, standardizing, everything will happen in this particular area. This is the real developers play area which we were talking about so far that you will have to do all your operations in here. You are getting data from source systems loading into the staging area. It can be a SAP or a non-SAP, it can be a flat file, it can be an XML file all the data is got into staging now you have a crm system which is a live data it is the real time uh, data so you may not be able to stage the live data so because you'll have to integrate the systems not like uh, do a batch load it is the real time job that is going to run so here if you see integrated plus operational uh, store that is going to be odious whereas here we have one more processing engine it is talking about dimensions and facts. There comes the ODS. So I told, let us look at this, this particular diagram. So in here, we are talking about data that can directly come from the operational system. And we are going not to summarize. We are going to actually process the uh, data integrated from the operational systems. When I say integrate, it is only the live data or the same data that is available in the source. But more than one source system may provide that information. So we are going to integrate them and put into the ODS. Now actually comes the CRM part, which is the real time data. It is also flowing into ODS. It may not be able to directly flow into data warehouse because the data warehouse is a different environment where you have structure called uh, dimensions and facts. Whereas ODS is more about normalized structure. It is going to be in the similar way of your source system. It is almost the same as your source system. It has the third normal form. It has the fourth normal form. It is all possible with ODS. So the purpose of maintaining ODS is if you have some questions that cannot be answered by your operational data, uh, sorry, operational uh, system, the online transaction processing system, and neither it could be answered by a data warehouse. The intermediate in between will be uh, answered by an ODS. Yeah, now the popular customer relationship management tool is Salesforce. It is into cloud computing. If you want a little bit on one one liner about cloud computing, yes, I can tell you. Cloud computing is software as a service. 
you don't you don't need any installations you don't need a database you don't need a, a, a hardware no servers required all you'll have to do is buy a login from salesforce you can do your business just over the web your data is going to be stored with uh, salesforce.com database your applications your reports everything will be published by salesforce.com half of the burden of building a data warehouse on a crm system will be gone but we are talking about a bigger data warehouse which is enterprise data warehouse module where you have more than crm you have to talk about your erp and you do have data from a third party you do have data from your legacy systems an oracle system an sql server application it can be anything so next comes the data warehouse it is enterprise data warehouse not just the data warehouse there is a difference between enterprise and a normal data warehouse guys a normal data warehouse is just one subject oriented piece of it so if you are building a data warehouse it is a bottom to top approach that is the practical approach in the market and people start building only one module of it like for crm before salesforce comes in, comes into picture if you wanted to develop a warehouse there could be a separate crm warehouse because customer is your god if your business is kind of a retail business like selling movie tickets or selling uh, uh, selling online equipment your customer is your god you need that customer so you'll have to build a customer relationship management data warehouse so that you can analyze track and uh, uh, make a smart decision to improve your business now comes the picture of uh, enterprise data warehouse after you build uh, after you built a data warehouse you'll also think about so now i'm doing really good business i'm able to answer my question uh, my customer properly why don't i also implement the same data warehouse for my plant my plant is the production unit in in future you may think about why don't i do the same thing for the uh, my call center for my sales marketing because when the business evolves it won't evolve all at once even your source systems not every system is built all at once first you'll start as a marketing company later you may go into production later you also will take care of shipping of it later you'll uh, you'll provide the web sales so your business keeps growing and the applications keep growing not the same application can be used uh, for all kinds of business because there are some domain specific uh, applications right if you go for healthcare or insurance industry they are looking to uh, particular applications which the financial application is totally different so when you are talking about an enterprise data warehouse it's going to look like this see the first data mart it is a star schema i have built it there is a second data mart which i was talking about and after you build everything you will have to first before building everything actually you will identify what are going to be the confirmed dimensions a confirmed dimension is nothing else than it is the same meaning across the enterprise data warehouse if a, if a customer has a meaning in one of the data marts the customer has the same meaning in the second data mart that is a confirmed dimension time is same time is across all the data warehouse environment Uh, in any data in any data mart time is going to be a confirmed dimension that is being shared by every data mart there so we connect the data marts and finally we do the reports so after we get all these data marts your operational data store can be a source for the reports your data warehouse can be source for report sometimes few uh, i i actually missed to put one more arrow data will flow from ods into data warehouse before even going to the reporting module so when you want some operational reporting uh, you have to actually go with a process where you may have to get data from multiple data marts that is where the enterprise data warehouse comes into picture so you are going to do a drill across report and then find out uh, finally come up with an uh, uh math saying this is the total investment uh, the company wise total revenues that is being generated and total cost that is incurred total spendings of the company everything will come up when you do an enterprise data warehouse so few of the reports can be from data warehouse few of them can be from ods it it depends on what is the business requirement so Uh, actually let me keep it for one more second do you understand now we can call this as an enterprise data warehouse 
my warehouse is now agile responsive it can answer any damn question from a business user saying can you give me a quick report region wise yes can you give me a quick report county wise yes in the same way can you tell me a customer uh, uh, a customer going to target uh, a number of times in a week yes i can answer you where if, if i have the data in my data warehouse it is all about your access to go get the data it is at the summary level very easy to access and you are not disturbing the operational uh, system which is actually meant for the customer it is not for the internal customers it is for the actual customers external customers who are who are going to buy your products you are not disturbing their source all you are doing is extracting that data putting into a separate environment where you are churning where you are analyzing the the data is going to be used for your decision support system uh, think about in a real scenario guys we need we need not be a businessman if we are a homemaker a homemaker even we can understand data warehousing really easy a homemaker uh, our mother our wife they are the best decision support the decision makers are in the kitchen they know how much milk you have to fire by next month they see the upcoming thing how do they see they know they have the data they have the data that we have consumed so and so, so thing for the last month and the previous month they can say okay this month actually the consumption is going to be growing more during the festival season surely you will buy more inventory right rather than a normal uh, uh, season you are going to buy more beers in summer you are going to refrigerate more beers in summer there can be a demand for beers all we are doing is looking at our data whether it is a data warehouse or your personal life you you'll have to look at the data before you make a decision so any questions on data warehouse guys we have built the data warehouse successfully grain you can declare as required in the data warehouse it is all dependent on what is the purpose of your data warehouse if you ask me cannot we maintain every transaction in my data warehouse yes certainly you can maintain but you'll have to have the capacity in the database and it should be tuned for the performance to answer your queries in such a way.